Not tonight, darling. I've got a frightful haddock. Yes. That old joke. <laughs> okay, welcome to our look at Starbound 1.1 with me, Jamie, from randomizeuser.com. In this video, we're just going to look at fishing and collections, the two major things I've introduced into the update. Oh, here we go. Already, I have fish here on this ocean planet. Carefully does it. Reel it in. Not too much. Oh, oh, the line. And when the line strains, you've got to be careful, otherwise it might break. So let's try that again. All right, come on. Uh, press up to reel it in, down to make it go down, and left and right to make it go left and right. And very soon you'll attract a shadow fish, which becomes a real fish. Grabby, grabby, grabby. Careful, grabby, careful. And there we, there we go. It's just going to flap around on the shore for a while. I can always tonk it with a sword. But never mind. You get some raw fish out of it, but more importantly, that was a jerk fish. Um, so let's check out our collections, which is new to 1.1. Here we go. Everything you've seen and done. Um, pets, action figures, fish, cooking, fossils, and bugs. Um, so we've done a bit of fishing so far. I've caught one fish, although I've also caught two more off camera. A jerkfish, sandy dirt whisker, and the toothy mud chomp. Delicious mud chomp. And there's quite a lot to collect. In fact, this, um, this has introduced 48 fish to collect from the depths of various ocean planets. And not only the normal ocean planets, but also uh, toxic ocean planets and magma. Um, so let's actually see how you actually go about making a rod for your back and also for your fish. So I'm just going to go back to my colony, if I can eventually get there. And this is the same colony as my um, Let's Play Starbound Asteroid Base series. And people are um, already busy fanfaring around. Right, so what you need is you need to go to your foraging table and you can get yourself, click there, um, a fishing rod. Um, timber, titanium and string. But if you're feeling flush and you're advanced through the game, you can upgrade that table and turn it into an agricultural table where you can now also get a durable fishing rod. Um, Dura steel, silver and synthetic material. Um, synthetic material you get at a sewing table from, I think it's coal and poison. So once you've got yourself a nice little rod, you can go and find yourself some water. However, what you can't do is fish in any water. It's got to be specific of ocean planets and stuff like that. The fish that you catch aren't the ones that are already there swimming about. They are those ones that mysteriously appear out of the shadows. So, oh this pond isn't very big. <laughs> Here we go. So if you're going to do this, um, you're not going to get catch many fish. So yes, yeah, about 30 seconds later, nothing doing. So you can't just build yourself a pond on any old asteroid base. You do actually have to go to one of the proper planets to do it. So let's go back. So, ooh, 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 ooh. so according to the change log, oh, I'm trying to hit things with a fishing rod. <laughs> uh, sword, that's more like it. So according to the change log, rare fish can give valuable rewards, including real and lure upgrades to enhance your fishing rod. If you actually look at your fishing rod, um, you can see there's a basic reel and a basic lure. Lads, my pier's vanished. There was a pier here. Quickly built a new pier. Not sure where the old one went. Uh, let's see if there's any fish here at the night time. Let's see if we can get a rare one. You don't look very rare. You look like you look basic. You look like a basic bloody Pollock. Get out! Oh, that was a nice and easy one. If it's close to the surface. It seems to be fine. Um, wait for it. Wait for it. It should pop on its own after a while. Uh, hey! Oh, we'll give me some pixels as well. Meanwhile, let's get a bug. There we go. Sea Hornet added to Bugs Collection. Uh, let's go and have a look at that. Where's the bugs? Oh, right at the bottom. There we go. Finally, you can actually see the full collection. I wasn't quite sure how many of these you actually could get, but it turns out it's 42. And in this character, I've only collected one. Ugh, that's not very many. Right. Fish! Come on, come on, come on, come on. Come on. Come on. Oh, nearly done. Grab, 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 grab. This is a new one. The Frilled Tad Guppy added to Fishing Collection. Yes. So this is, this is, this has been, well, it's definitely rarer than the other ones. Uh, and uh, hasn't given me anything useful though, sadly. Um, okay, let's try a different sort of planet now. Okay, we're just beaming down to the toxic planet now. Small problem, of course. 
is that there's acid rain on these toxic planets. Um, acid rain has been tweaked in 1.1, so now it deals poison um, damage rather than direct damage. Um, either way, I am going to have to build a little umbrella, otherwise we're going to die quite quickly. Um, also, I'm going to add some um, poison antidote, so that'll stop everything from happening. But hey, whatever. So I'm, I'm hoping, I've not done this yet, I'm hoping there's going to be different kinds of fish here on the toxic planets. So come on lads, let's have, let's get some nice um, <laughs> Simpsons three-eyed fish. Yes. Oh, they've got to have a reference in there somewhere, haven't they? Oh, that's a different one. Now, you can tell by the silhouettes. Oh, it's all horrible. All right, here we go. Oh, 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 careful. Up, 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 up. Come on, this is an easy one. Yes, easy. Irradiated globfish added to fishing collection. Yes, you globfish, yes you are. Right, let's try and get another one. Oh, it's, it's dropped stuff. Um, I think it's just raw fish and pixels again. Is this the same one? I think this is this might actually be the same one. So I might as well just give it a... There we go. Raw fish and pixels. I'm still waiting to see um, um, any sign of any kind of upgraded lures and things like that. But I suspect that you have to do quite a lot of fishing to find rarities such as that. Come on. Here we go. Here's another one. Here's another new one. Barbed red eye. Uh, could really do with some rare ones, but this'll do at a pinch. Oh, come back! Oh, it's gone! That didn't count! And also, I'm, I'm getting poison damage, even though I'm technically antidoted. Uh, I think that might be a little bit of a bug. Spotted Gulp Treader. <laughs> the names are a joy in themselves. Come on, see if you've got anything interesting inside you. Nope, just fish. So, um, some of the other stuff they've added in 1.1, they've added friendly Nova Kid villagers, and now there's some new th uh, Nova Kid themed furniture and objects. And there's um, a possibility of a new. Oh, hello, that's a new. That's, that's That looks different. Um, come on, Snaily. Oh, go away, other people. There's actually two new ones. Oh, this is good. This is good. Uh, uh, uh. I want Snaily. Come on, Snaily. Oh, you've gone. Oh, you've gone too. They're, they actually are harder to attract. I think it's because I need a better lure for them. And if only we could get one, that might be handy. Oh god, here we go. Oh, I've already got you. Ugh. So yeah, Nova Kids can also be generic tenants or guards in your colony as well. And there's also some new Nova Kid NPC dialogue. And there's a bunch of other changes as well, like there's new party chat and local planet chat. Uh, and just just various other stuff as well. Just check the um, change log for all the minor changes. There's, n there's nothing too spectacular in that lot. Okay, as we come into land on a magma planet, I just mentioned one other change I've introduced, which is a relocator tool, which I think you buy from a foraging table. And what it means is you can get things like um, critters, fish, bugs, and farm animals, and you can move them. And previously, other you could just you couldn't really do much. You could just um, sit there and watch them prance about. Um, let's hope there's some actual magma on this planet, otherwise I'm going to look a bit silly. Uh, oh, here we go. Yep, here we go. There's a sea of horrible fire. Um, just let me just get rid of you. There we go. And sorted. Right, I might have to fish from quite a distance, because otherwise I'm going to get um, at risk of death quite quickly. Right. What manner of fire-breathing bloody bastards are down here, then? Come on, lads. Oh, here's one. Here's a firefish. Oh, 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 oh. And... Oh, he's bloody stuck. Oh, there we go. Hey! Soulfish added to fishing collection. Uh, come back. Don't... Don't disappear. <laughs> come on. And all it's given me is bloody pixels and raw fish again. At some point, I will collect something cool out of one of those things. Um, apparently not yet. Oh, bollocks. <laughs> <sighs> oh, that looks a new one. Is that different? I think that's a different one. <laughs> ah, nice and easy. Oh, yeah, Scorch Eye. Uh, Scorch Eye added to fishing collection. All right. Come on. Just die. <laughs> oh, look. High tension reel. Yes. Right, okay, so, do I... I think I've got a right... Oh. Uh, oh. <laughs> uh, 
Um, oh, there it is. Okay. Um, okay, right click. There we go. Um, it's now applied. And just looking at it. Yep, high tension reel. And just the basic lure. So yes, that has actually worked. Come on, let's okay, let's try and catch something new. I assume that means it's not going to break as much if it's high tension. So let's put this to the test. Uh, anything? Yeah, there we go. Okay, this doesn't really matter what the fish, sort of fish this is. Okay, grab it. Pull. Now pull it. There is the... Oh. That was a bit piss. <laughs> it didn't actually do anything. Uh, oh well. Okay, so I think that's enough for now. I think, I think I'll go find and find some fish on a less extreme planet. Um, by the way, just looking at this, um, the Jura Steel Rod seems to be for fishing in extreme environments, so I don't think that the basic rod um, w will be um, any good on these um, magma planets. Um, I haven't actually tested that out. Um, okay, so do check out some of my other Starbound um, videos. Um, I'm currently doing an asteroid base um, let's play. We've seen glimpses of that in this video, and which is all rather jolly. Yep, so thanks for watching. Do subscribe for more of those sorts of videos, and I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.